Well, the search is on to find the person who's going to run those day-to-day -day operations in Austin, which is the state's fourth largest city. A lot to control here. City council members are going to talk about who should take that position for the new city manager and how you can help them out. Yeah, and this comes after the city fired former city manager Spencer Cronk last month. The council weighing in on that. Jesus Garza filling in for now. KXAN's Dylan McKim spoke with council members about the current situation and what they want to see in the future. Good morning, Dylan. Tom Sally, good morning. City Council will speak privately today in a two part conversation. One, getting the ball rolling on finding a new city manager and two, talking to interim manager Garza about the things they want done during his time. I asked council members what they thought about Garza's actions so far. Uh, interim city manager Garza has shown to be a problem solver and that was something that we wanted when we were looking at who could come in uh, we wanted someone who could really take the reins and and hit the ground running it certainly has acted with a sense of urgency and commitment to the city's most pressing problems in the interim role on February 15th and has conducted an organizational review of the city. Under his leadership, there have been key leadership changes. The assistant city manager retired and the executive director of the airport resigned. Garza also oversaw a pay package for police officers. Now council was looking ahead to the next person who will act as the city's CEO. We need somebody who is going to understand that they have a really critical role when we need to bring those departments together to solve challenges. It needs to be someone with experience, someone who uh, is a dedicated leader and who understands the, the inner workings of public administration. As far as a time frame, the council members I spoke with say they want this search to be done within a year. We did reach out to the city to ask if the interim city manager would be willing to take the job permanently, but we did not get an answer by this newscast. Dylan McKim, KXAN News.